Um, I'm Keith Pollard, I'm the Managing Editor of International Medical Travel Journal um, and we also operate um, a consumer portal called Treatment Abroad. So I've been around the medical tourism business for about 10 years as a publisher and providing advice on medical tourism and then previous to that I used to work in the private hospital sector in London um, attracting international patients into London's hospitals. Dubai in a sense is in a kind of perfect position to exploit the health tourism market. Dubai has uh, a lot of potential as a health tourism destination. We undertook some work uh, in recent months on behalf of Dubai Health Authority in the UK um, and the purpose of that work was to get a perception of British patients of Dubai as a health tourism destination as opposed to what it is now, you know, a tourism destination. Um, and the results of that were quite um, positive and encouraging. So we were asking British people to say, well, how would you view, what would be your perception of Dubai for health tourism compared to the kind of places that they go now, which is Poland, Czech Republic, Belgium, Spain, uh, and, and you know, even people who haven't come here had, a kind of, I would say, a good positive impression. So it has some, some benefits, it has some advantages. I, I think when you have this kind of conference uh, and you're bringing people to your country from other countries, um, it's great to bring them to a good conference, but I think what can really add some value to it is to, is to take them to see your healthcare facilities. Um, not just to see the healthcare facilities, but I think particularly to meet doctors, who are delivering the care to international patients, to talk to nurses who deliver the care. Um, and if possible, and I think where it works really well, is if you have some international patients there, let the people talk to the international patient. So the patients talking to them and saying, well, I, I come from this country, I came here because this is the reason I made my choice. And that's really kind of strong, powerful argument. But I think that, that that adds some real value in addition to just you come to a medical centre, great, but you don't step outside the door. If we, um, if we look at Ukraine as a medical tourism destination, my understanding um, in terms of where it is at the moment, there are, we talked in the conference about destination image and Ukraine has some political difficulties, some unrest there, which um, for certain parts of the world that creates a problem. Um, but the, the key to any destination getting it right is to make sure um, initially that the services and the, the, the quality of, of healthcare available is up to a given standard. So uh, yeah, the point I always make is it's not just about price, it's not about being the cheapest. People don't travel to get cheap health there, they go to somewhere to get cured, to get treated and that's what comes first. So you really have to convince them uh, of that. My recommendation for Dubai um, and the hospitals and the health authority and the people involved in the medical tourism initiative in Dubai, I think probably quite simple, it's to stop talking about it and go and do it. So more, you know, less talk, more action. Uh, I think there's been a lot of discussion about Dubai as a medical tourism destination. Um, you need to go out there and really invest in, in putting Dubai on the map in this business sector.